you, you say that you did attend several of the COBRA meetings. We've heard about these meetings held in the early part of 2020. Yes. Um, several, all, maybe you can't remember now. Um, uh, probably almost all. Um, the, I know the inquiry has the COBRA minutes and whether I was there or not will be there, but certainly a number during February and then in March. But as I think I mentioned, in a sense, COBRA fell out of use as a mechanism by which the government decided to take its uh, decisions or review progress against uh, the pandemic. So uh, that uh, abated as a, a forum for this type of discussion. Well, we, we've certainly heard that the COBRA meetings stopped, but are you saying that you stopped going to them for that reason? No, I think I, well, I, I, I went to every COBRA meeting I was asked to go to, yeah. as far as I'm aware. And, and, as, and was it routine that either you or someone else from NHS England was invited to those meetings? Uh, during February 2020, I think that's right. Um, and probably March as well. I mean, I'd have to literally go back and look at all of the Cobras and the minutes and so forth, but that's my, uh, my recollection, yes. Um, you've, you've mentioned just now, and you, you describe in your statement a view that these meetings were not, in your words, optimally effective. Can you expand on that? Yes. I, my, my observation is that the COBRA meetings were very large, so lots of people, which often makes it hard to have very substantial discussions. And sometimes the seniority of representation ministerially at the COBRAs varied between departments. So it wasn't always the case that a minister necessarily had the full authority of their department when a discussion was taking place, was my observation. Now, you know, others are in government may take a different view.